Hi, Coach. The first day of spring. How did it go? Awesome, man. Uh, just great to get out on the grass. A ton of energy and excitement and effort from the players. You know, throughout the uh, the entire practice. It, uh, you know, you spend all that time in the weight room working and competing and, and making strides off the field, changing your body, uh, learning some of the scheme stuff that we're going to implement. But there's nothing like getting out and competing out on the grass. Is there a focus or, or something you're preaching going into this spring that may be different than your? Ton, a ton of things. Um, you know, uh, for us, we always talk. We use the word attack, right? But it's, it's how hard we're playing from snap to whistle. Uh, I think effort and, and energy uh, can about overcome anything. Um, so, uh, whoever plays the hardest, the longest, is the guy that usually wins. That's important to us. We've been stressing that in our off season. Uh, turnovers is the other piece of that puzzle. Uh, you look at, you know, conference champions in, in this league. Typically, uh, it's a two to one ratio. Uh, last year wasn't, but. Uh, um, that's typically the ratio. Um, you look at the games that we lost, you know, turnover margin 9-2, I think we lose in, uh, in those three games. Each one's worth seven points, so that's a stress for uh, our kids. And then uh, non-playing penalties has, has been uh, a big part as well. Just playing with the, the discipline that you got to have, play hard, snap the whistle, and uh, line up and do it all over again. What kind of drive have you seen from Dylan Gabriel just this offseason? We, we talked to Coach Halsey the other day, just said he's seen nothing like it. I mean, he's really dedicated to become even better as a sophomore. What have you seen? He from is. Dylan? He's living in our building, you know, uh, comes in, does, does his workout, gets extra workout, uh, spend a lot of time in, in the film room. Uh, obviously, uh, with Coach Halsey being in there, there's a, a ton of fundamental things that he and all the guys have a chance to, to really make some strides with. Um, but he's not the only guy that's been like that in the offseason. Uh, we've had great effort and um, guys are, are pushing to become their best. And, and uh, uh, if you want to you know, become a great player, you got to separate yourselves. And every decision is a building block uh, to take you to where you want to be. Is the spring a good time to maybe get to look at some of the young guys, some of the early enrollees? Spring's a great time to look at everybody inside your program, right? Um, we talk about 125 guys. It's an opportunity to, for every one of those guys to, to make strides. Um, you know, they all work offense and defense, everybody's getting reps, but special teams is uh, a great place where a lot of young guys develop. All of those skills translate into offense and defense well as well, right? It, it all uh, works together, um, but uh, it's an opportunity for those guys to, to maybe earn some, some playing time as well. And, uh, you know, through our first two years, you've seen a lot of guys, you know, first get their first playing, their snaps on that side of the ball and then grow into being uh, a great player on offense and defense as well. You want open competition, but do you consider the quarterback nah, position it's open, more subtle? Yeah. No, nah, it's it's open competition. Every every position is. you got to go earn it uh, every single day. Uh, we grade tape, um, you know, we evaluate every single day. And, um, the strength of one position can never be one guy. I don't care if that's D-line, offensive line, quarterbacks. Uh, linebacker, uh, it's got to be a collective effort and, and a group effort. And, um, <clears throat> it's great to have all those guys back. There's some consistency in that room. Um, because of that, I think we can continue to push and become the room that we need to be uh, to help us go do the things that we want to uh, when we get to next fall. With is Gabe Davis moving on, uh, is this a spring where you want to see a guy like Trey Nixon and Jacob Harris continue to take progress and maybe some of these younger guys yeah, start to emerge? Uh, great to see Gabe do fantastic last night in, in, uh, in the combine and, and represent himself and put his best foot forward. Proud of him, what he's done, and, and excited to see you know Novell as well. Uh, that's the great thing about college football. It's the hard thing, right? Um, you know, a quarter of your roster, essentially, give or take a, a few uh, guys, it, it turns over every single year. And leadership roles are, are there to be taken. Um, it's great to see guys start to find their voice and, and thrust themselves into that role as well. And then, obviously, on the football field, the production that you lose, um, those are, are snaps and opportunities for somebody else to go take. Is there, any, is there any particular position that you want to see the most improvement, most growth, maybe this spring? Uh, there's not just one position. Every, <clears throat> every position's got to got to grow. Uh, we got to be better on special teams. Um, we got to be better at creating turnovers. We got to be better at taking care of the football. And then each position group's got to push to become the absolute best that it can be. And that's not just one guy. Uh, it's everybody inside of that room. All right. I apologize. I know some of those interviews were short. We got a, a unique schedule on Fridays where we got meetings on the back end, so I apologize about that.